What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Been seeing a lot of new faces around the community here. Lots of new folks joining up on the Discord. Love seeing that. If y'all are still looking for a place to come hang out, talk game and talk Destiny, nice little link for the Discords in the description. Love seeing those new faces, like I said, and meeting everybody, getting to know y'all. So thank you guys so much for that support. Been absolutely wild lately, and I just can't say thank you enough. Makes me smile. So in today's video, I want to go over a new part of the Guardian games this year that we got with the strike scoring playlist. Now, there's a couple different things that I want to cover with this, so we're going to get right into it. First off right here, we're going to go over how to unlock these two different playlists. Now it is super easy and actually part of that initial quest that you grab from Grandma Eva, Eva Levante in the tower, the best in class. This also rewards you the title SMG, the new void SMG from Guardian Games. So if you guys are looking for some God rolls on that, I have a video that'll be up in the upper right hand corner for y'all. Super banging SMG, so make sure to check that out. But part of that quest as well some of the steps you go talk to zavala and you end up unlocking both the recreational playlist and then also our training slash competitive playlist so once you reach that point in the quest you will see them both be unlocked within the courtyard in the tower right here our recreation on the left and then our training slash competitive on the right here so on the left hand side for our recreational, this is basically just like our Vanguard Ops playlist that is actually in our Vanguard tab. You rotate between strikes and then also those battlegrounds within the recreational playlist here. And then these perks right here, these modifiers will rotate daily. I think the Void Singe stayed the same. That was the same as yesterday as well, but both of these grounded and heavyweight changed so it'll be rotating daily for two of these modifiers. Now, more importantly on this list right here, we have the Guardian Games training playlist slash competitive. This is where you are going to be earning those better rewards and then competing actually for that top 10% score within this playlist here to get that special emblem. So when we actually come into this playlist right here, the competitive slash training one, it is more along the lines of a Nightfall or that Nightfall playlist. Now it's not gonna be exactly the same as the Nightfall as it this week, it's the Fallen Saber Nightfall. And then this training playlist here is the Light Blade Strike that we got with the Witch Queen. So they will be different, but actually very similar with having to destroy champions within this one there is other modifiers with solar burn arc burn stuff like that so it makes it more interesting plus it's at 1550 so it's slightly more challenging but the rewards are way better within this playlist so the same thing goes as our other playlist. There will be some rotating modifiers as well as consistent ones, depending on what strike this is. So this week we have Martyr, which didn't change. The champions are Barrier and Unstoppable within the Light Blade, so those didn't change. Same as the Shielded Foes right here. We're only dealing with Arc and Solar within this strike. But right here, Weight of the Weakness, this changed yesterday. There was Invisible Enemies, and now today, Today, we have the grenade and abilities applied by weakening and effects, blah, blah, blah. This is a new modifier for this strike. So this one will rotate daily. And so it kind of switches up how you're going to play that strike for that day. This one was the same that arc damage dealt and arc damage received. There is an increase. And let me tell you that arc damage received coming in from the enemies hits so super hard. So it's going to change based on strikes are going to be weekly. And then this modifier right here will be daily. So that'll kind of change how you play this playlist right here. Now, as you can see, there's a couple different options to go through. You can go through the non matchmaking. So if you're going through as a fire team of three, you can come in here and you can get some pretty good rewards. As you can see, the nightfall weapons, exotic gear enhancement prisms from completing this. And then if you're going in there as a solo duo, you can come in matchmaking and it does match you with other guardians. Super nice to get some points and see if you can pass those certain thresholds because you actually do earn some buffs 
within these playlists as well as the recreational and vanguard ops now right here you can see that's the same thing applies to the competitive playlist but they are not open until the weekend so friday saturday sunday monday this competitive playlist will open where you will actually compete for high scores and unlock the torches within the tower based on whichever thresholds you pass via your score so bronze silver gold and platinum now they say that you are going to be able to get some better rewards via this competitive playlist and like i stated before this is actually where you get that top 10 percent for that exclusive emblem for the guardian games here you can find that within your season of the risen triumphs under the guardian games and general towers finest by the end of guardian games 2022 get high enough scores for each week's guardian game competitive playlist to rank in the top 10 of the destiny community combined best scores so you got to be able to do that competitive playlist on the weekends and if you are in the top 10 percent of your combined scores you will complete this triumph and then you get an exclusive emblem so it's a nice little incentive to grind this playlist out this weekend and get a nice pattern down to get the highest score possible. Now, like I said earlier, when you pass a certain threshold that you can see here with this shoot to score quest, which you receive by completing that best in class and unlocking these playlists, you see this, so you, it tracks your training score. You can see my highest is almost 225,000 and the platinum threshold is 175. So this just means that you are going to be earning buffs within the playlist based on whichever threshold you pass and for some reason you can see them right here but there is no platinum that's popping up even though i have clearly surpassed that threshold it's only giving me the gold contenders boon so you can see what this buff does for you within the playlist it is super nice because the ability regeneration and increased weapon damage does show you're getting supers back very quickly when you have that empowered stack times five it is kind of crazy and you can really notice when it is kicking in so this definitely helps with you pushing through some of these strikes and the training and competitive playlist for this weekend because of these extra little boosts that you're getting now, I just want to real quick before we finish, go over some tips and tricks that I think are going to help your fire team and get the best possible score. So within the light blade, you can see behind me when you're going through, you are earning different medals for fire team defeats in a quick succession. There is a bunch of different medals that you can earn and you can see all of those within your triumphs as well. All of these Vanguard medals right here help contribute to your score and then also that buff and that's how you actually get it. So when you go on an energy rampage, you will see in the left hand corner of your screen that you have those gold buffs, whether it's weapon damage, ability buff, something along those lines. And then, like I said, these medals that you earn via doing different tasks within the strike help your score out and then again help that buff multiplier that you get from passing those certain thresholds as you can see there is a lot of different medals that you can achieve within the strikes so it is nice to get these and then also you can see like this one is super easy to get we have 400 of them already just by defeating 10 combatants as a fire team and once again helps your score so make sure you kind of look through here plan on what you're going to go through and try to get these as fast as possible so you can get those buffs and continue the buffs going on but also it helps with your score like i said now for these different strikes like i said with that rotating modifier it's going to kind of change how you play the strike for that day the invisible enemies definitely made the light blade hard because of all the invisible screams and cursed thrall but once that was gone it made it a little bit easier and was able to achieve a higher score because you do want to defend defeat everything everything that you possibly can within the strike that means if there are damage barriers where if you do enough damage on a boss that will spawn more enemies make sure you do just enough damage to get those extra ads to spawn destroy all the ads before continuing your dps because you're trying to do these strikes as fast as possible well not dying at all that helps as well with your score and then also you want to be able to get those medals and continue through the strike 
killing every single enemy that comes in your way so you can get that highest possible score. So it's definitely going to be easier for teams of pre-made three stacks to go through and get higher scores just in case you do get someone in the matchmaking pool that defeats the boss super fast when you had extra enemies to destroy you could have got a higher score plus it's better to plan if you guys are using stasis those defeats and you just want to be as synergetic as possible with your team so like i said you can blow through the strikes get those medals get the defeats everything like that so you can get your multipliers try not to die the best that you can throughout the strike that'll help as well for time and everything and then at the end you will get your score the loot for it even in the training is pretty great you can see i got an exotic here at the end and some enhancement prisms so it's super nice to go through these and i'm excited to see what the competitive playlist drops differently tomorrow but it's going to be basically the same thing just with a little more incentive where your score is going to count higher towards getting that top 10 percent for that emblem and you are going to be able to get some better rewards so hopefully this helped you guys out, kind of figure out what this new part of the Guardian games is with the strike scoring. I think it's a super fun addition. It definitely gives me something to grind for throughout Guardian games, especially during the weekends here for a PVE player, more than just trials on the weekend, doing dungeons, stuff like that. So it's gonna be super nice. And I think it's a lot better than just sitting, grinding out metals over and over again. Like I said, grinding for that top 10% and that extra incentive of that special emblem. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Again, hopefully this helped you guys out. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.